Welcome Transformer fans, my name is Composite Energo and today's review is on the Transformers Studio Series Leader Class Overload. Yes, that's right. This is by release, by order of release, the last of the Studio Series Constructicons. And no, I am not going to count Skipjack, that is just Yellow Rampage. He doesn't count. In terms of non-repaints, this is the last of the Constructicons overload. And here he is in his alt mode, which is based off of the vehicle that appeared in the film, which was a Caterpillar 776 articulated dump truck, if I remember that correctly, and I'm pretty sure I did. So here it is, and I gotta say this is a very, very nice looking uh, dun uh, vehicle mode. Very, very nice. Nice bits of detail. I like that the wheels are also detailed. The cab, the actual, um, uh, what's this called? The bed. Yeah, the truck bed. I think, does that also apply for a dump truck? Whatever, the actual bed is actually very nice. The grill, everything is very nicely detailed. Um, my one, for me, it's a minor complaint. I don't like that in vehicle mode. Things like this, this, and especially this here, which I don't understand why it was designed like that, is um, it's exposed. So I don't like that you can see that much of the robot mode in his vehicle mode. But it's a minor thing. It still looks very nice. Um, he does roll quite well on all six of his wheels, as you can see. And that's pretty much it. That's all he really does in vehicle mode. Um, he does come with one accessory, which is this piece. Which, in my opinion, I feel that this piece either shouldn't exist, like it should have been incorporated in a different way, or at the very least, this should have been given to Mixmaster and not Overload. I don't get why this was added with him, when it would have made more sense with Mick, uh, Mick, with Mixmaster. But anyway, we have him, here's the piece, and you can um, store it on the vehicle mode by just hooking it onto these piece. And this is how you have it. And that's it for this for now. So yeah, that's it for his uh, vehicle mode. On to the transformation, which is surprisingly simple. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So first things first. Come over here and lift up these wheels. Lift up these wheels. And then you lift up this piece. Slide this, hold on, lift this up, slide over, and then bring it, and just leave it like that. Separate, disconnect this, flip up, flip up. You adjust this to fold this around like so. Yeah, do a lot of finagling, but you have to get this piece like this, and then Flip up, that goes up, bring out the heel. So this is one of his legs. On the other side you do the same thing. Just get separated, twist turn, like that, like that, and like that. So we have the legs, come down here and flip up. So that's how you do it. Yeah. Okay. So there's a weird little little thing here that when you this is the head. Well, this is how you pull up the head. But apparently, and I didn't notice this, when you fold the head down to go into vehicle mode, you have to do it this way to then make sure that this piece locks into place. If you try to do it beforehand like that, it doesn't do it. I didn't know that until right now. So there you go. Be careful when transforming into vehicle mode. There's a little bit of an automorph there. So here we have his lower half. I mean, he's not done yet, so who am I kidding? So next up, I get to the arms, which separate, like so. Like so. And then, before I finish the arms, let's, let's go finish up here. Fold this up. I'll peg this into this little port here, this lower, lower port there. Like so. Then this goes into here. And then just flip out this little stinger? Well, I mean, flip that out. I'm not entirely sure, but that flips out. 
Okay, now for this part, you have to be a little bit careful. You have to wiggle this out, bring this down, and then just unfold this, and fold this up, bring this down a little bit. Make sure you line this up. So, line up, wiggle to unpeg. As you can see, he's not really that complicated. He looks more complicated than he actually is which I, I like, and fold up, and then fold out, fold out, and here we have Overload in his very, very insectoid looking robot mode, which I think looks amazing. I really like the look of this robot mode. Like he's not too tall, especially for a leader class, he's not that tall. But oh my goodness, he makes up for it in width. He is a wide boy. And in a good way, because all of this is just his extra arms. So here's a close-up of his head sculpt. Which looks very cool. Um, I don't think I can really you can really see it. But he actually has, I, th I believe, three sets of eyes. On the packaging, he has like three yellow eyes. A big glowing one in the middle and two smaller ones here. And I don't think you can see it, or it's very slight. Yeah, I think I got it. He does have painted yellow eyes up here, but in the big middle one, it's just gray. It's not painted. But, yeah. So, yeah. This looks really cool. It's like, like a big crab or like a spider. I think people would mostly go with spider, but... Which, funny enough, if you look at the concept art for this robot mode, where this, uh, this, uh, this robot mode was kind of based off, it looked more spider-like. This honestly looks, looks more like a crab belly with all these claws, which is really cool. Like, he has no actual hands. They're all just hooks and claws. So, on to the articulation. Head is on a, at least on mine, is on a very stiff ball joint. Oh, now I see it. Huh. I'll show that later. It was an exce- it was apparently, it's for the, uh, I'll show it later. But yeah, head is on a ball joint. Um, no rotation there. Um, Oh, and to get these in place, there is a little sort of clip here that you hook into the leg. And then these you can just flip out. If you want, I guess. Make it a little more intimidating. It's kind of squat. Squat. Yeah, getting distracted. Articulation, like I said. Okay, so heads on a ball joint. This entire arm can swivel, and it can also swivel this way as well. Uh, this entire arm has a swivel there, has its own dedicated sort of hinge here. Then this arm has hinge there, hinge here, a swivel there, double hinge at this claw, and this does not open or close. Then this arm has a swivel there, double hinge here, so hinge, hinge and then hinge at his uh, meat hooks, on his hooks here. And then the other side has the same amount. Now his legs can go forward, back, in, out, swivel there, there, and forward has a bend at the knee, little hindered, but it has a bend at the knee, and an ankle pivot, or ankle rocker. I still don't have ankle pivot, that's what I call it an ankle so yeah so this guy and that's his articulation so yeah I think except for a waist swivel he has quite a lot of articulation I mean with all these extra arms I'd be surprised if he didn't but I like that each arm is actually very very articulated I was kind of surprised by that he is a bit top heavy which causes I believe his legs to buckle a little you may have to have him leaning forward a little so yeah so on, now on to size comparisons. First off we have Ratchet and Cliff Jumper. You see he's still a very big, big feller. I say he's a leader class, not in not uh, vertically, but horizontally he's a leader class. So yeah, uh, he does come, oh, and like I mentioned earlier, his this neck accessory, I didn't notice it until now, but there's a clip here. And hold on. Yeah. 
So this is how I guess it'd be like that. Take the other way. No, it makes more sense the other way. So yeah, here we have this little accessory. You can store it, and this is more storage in his robot mode, just on his back like that, which is neat. It's kind of neat. Didn't think that was that was possible. But yeah, you can't have him do that, and I'm gonna take it off for the next accessory. Because like all Studio Series figures, he comes with a backdrop, and this is the backdrop like all other like all of the other Constructicons. As you can see, the shadow of a Devastator there and the pyramids. This is Operation Firestorm from the film Revenge of the Fallen. You know where all of the Constructicons uh, met up. Let me put them here. Basically, it's the it's the is the Egypt battle by the pyramids, and here he is, and it looks. Quite nice. Unfortunately, you really have to stretch this out because of how wide he is. Similar to, I guess, a Mixmaster. And yeah, that's it. Looks very cool. Um, so yeah, what are my final thoughts? Like overall, this is a very nice figure. Now, if you're getting now, if you're pro you're probably getting Overload here just to have the whole set of the Constructicons with him being the last official one. Again, I'm not counting Skipjack, that's personal preference. But yeah, I think by himself, he's very cool. He has, I think, he might be my favorite design overall uh, of, all, of all the Constructicons, at least this robot mode is. Uh, vehicle mode wise, it's pretty good. It's not too bad, I kind of would have liked more paint apps and a better if they, if they would have like covered up the robot parts in vehicle mode. But overall... This is a very nice, solid figure. The design is interesting. It just what it is. It's a very cool design. I'm really digging this. So yeah, on his own, he's very nice, and I and I do recommend getting him by himself. Although I recommend more that you get the whole set, since if you're getting him, you'll probably need the whole set to you know use this thing for. So yeah, might as well just put it there. So yeah, that's uh, overload. Um, I guess one fun fact about him is that um. Like a lot of the other Constructicons, I don't know about a lot, but like a couple other Constructicons, Overload did appear in the film, but not his robot mode. This robot mode is, um, is based off of his um, concept art, which had him more spider-like, but his vehicle mode did appear in the movie. So this character was partially in the movie as a vehicle. The actual robot mode did not appear. It's one of those rare instances of that happening. I believe, um, who's the other ones that did that? I think Hightower was, was the other one that did that. Where his, uh, where his vehicle mode did appear, kind of, but not the robot mode. And I forgot who was the other one that was also like that. But yeah, this has been my review of these. So pretty much I like him. He's great. Overload's fantastic. So yeah, um, overall, he's great. So this is uh, Composite Energy, wait, hold on. So this has been my review, there we go. This has been my review of the Transformers Studio Series uh, Leader Class Overload, the last official Constructicon, as far as I'm concerned. This is Composite Energy signing off. Peace out and be safe.